Good morning and welcome back everybody. Meteorologist Jeffrey Hool here. We're looking at some nice weather for the first half of today. Unfortunately, as we head into the afternoon and evening, not going to be the greatest as we have some showers and thunderstorms on deck. But over East River Mountain, you can see we are looking a little hazy this morning. Temperatures coming in warm across the board, especially after yesterday's heat, which speaking of yesterday's heat, we did hit 90 degrees in Bluefield for the first time since 2019. That means we've got some lemonade in the future as we see our normal high temperature that's 79 degrees so we were 11 degrees above that not the biggest discrepancy in temperatures that we've seen all season but of course this is the warmest that we've been all year and will likely be for the rest of the year unless we get warmer than that i'm not counting anything out as we look at the record for yesterday 1952 it was set and it was 91 degrees so we were one degree off of tying that record a low temperature yesterday was 66 and the normal 62. As we look at the temperatures right now out the door, we've got 71 degrees on deck in Bluefield, Beckley and Grundy, Hinton as well. Over in Richlands, we're the warmest temperature this morning at 72 and then nearby Taswell, 65 for the coolest temperature this morning as well. Overall, things are warm starting out and we're going to stay warm again today. But as we head into Thursday, we've got colder air on the way. That's going to be thanks to a cold front pushing through tomorrow, bringing us down below average for the first time in a while. And then we're going to continue to see some cooler weather as we head into the weekend and the start of next week with at least seasonable conditions on the table. As we look at the forecasted highs, you can see today we're going to be in the upper 80s, not ruling out that we could possibly get into the 90s here in Bluefield, but it's going to be less likely than it was yesterday. Tomorrow, we've got a few degree difference down in the mid 80s, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to be sitting in the mid, maybe even low 70s if we get cool enough. So some very nice looking weather for the weekend. That is, if it wasn't for the rain, some great temperatures though. Looking at satellite radar, we've got heavier cloud cover moving in from the northwest, and we're going to be seeing that over the next several hours. Not going to be looking at as much sunshine as we were yesterday, but the first half of the day should still remain dry. If you're looking to do some yard work, today is likely going to be the last day you'll be getting for a while because Wednesday and Thursday, looking to see some scattered thunderstorms at times throughout the day. So take advantage of today and the dry weather while you can because tomorrow we even have a risk for severe weather, a marginal risk, one out of five for the entire viewing area. Could see some stronger thunderstorms popping up, some of which may have some damaging winds, but we're also looking at the possibility for some heavy rainfall resulting in some flooding issues so make sure to stay weather aware tomorrow as we get a look at this evening we're going to start to see those thunderstorms popping up likely around four to five they'll continue on into the sunset hour after that will dry up a bit overnight staying warm again in the upper 60s low 70s and then we'll continue to see off and on thunderstorms throughout the day on wednesday starting around lunchtime continuing until about four or five now looking at the extended forecast after that, a stationary front will stall out to our east. That's going to be giving us rain chances throughout Thursday, Friday and the weekend as well. Next week looking to be seasonable at the very least.